Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material design. I am Annie from Smart Heart. In the previous video we had learned about making our application compatible using the XML files and the Java codes. And now the most exciting feature of Android material design comes. The color palette. In this video I will be telling about different color attributes that are used to control the different parts of our application. So let's begin. On the right side we can see an image which shows different parts of our application screen. There is a status bar, a toolbar, the application window and the navigation bar. Now the different area of the screen are controlled by different color attributes. First comes the status bar. This status bar color is controlled by color primary dark. That is, the color primary dark is the attribute that controls the color of the status bar. Next comes the toolbar. The color of the toolbar is controlled by color primary. Or in other words we can say the attribute color primary is used to change or handle the color of the toolbar. There is also a title written in the toolbar. This title color is controlled by text color primary. Next comes the application window. The application window or the window background is controlled by the property window background. Next is the navigation bar. The color of the navigation bar is controlled or altered using the property navigation bar color. Now guys we can see another image on the left side of the screen. In this image the height of the toolbar is considerably high. There is the same status bar toolbar and besides that we also have few widgets in our application. The color of the status bar is controlled by color primary dark. The toolbar is controlled by color primary. There is an edit text in the toolbar. This edit text is a widget and hence its color is controlled by color ascent. Until the attribute of this edit text is specified the color ascent is provided to it by default. There is a switch here and since it is off it is controlled by color control normal. If the color control normal attribute is not defined for the switch widget, the color ascent will be the default color that will be provided to this widget as well. Moving forward guys, let's go into further detail about the toolbar. Here there is a toolbar with a navigation icon, with the overflow menu, with the refresh button and there is also a title. The status bar above the toolbar and the application window below it. Now let's learn the detail about this. The color of the status bar is controlled by color primary dark. That of the toolbar is controlled by color primary. The title that is present in the toolbar is controlled by text color primary. We have provided a new color attribute for the navigation icon and the overflow menu. This color attribute is text color secondary. Using the text color secondary we can change the color of the navigation icon as well as the overflow menu. After this comes the window background that is controlled by the attribute window background. Now guys this is one of the most exciting features of Android material designing that is providing various color tints to our widgets. We can see on the right side there is a button. On clicking the button we see a ripple effect in the button. The color of this ripple effect is the ascent color by default. And if we need to customize the ripple effect, we need to use the attribute color control highlight. Or in other words, the color control highlight attribute can be used to change the ripple color that appears in various widgets. It is not only applicable for the button, but also all other widgets where we can see the ripple effect. Few of the widgets where we can control the color properties are the checkbox and the radio button. There are many other but in this video we will be speaking about only this two. There are two states of the checkbox and the radio button. One is when the checkbox is checked and the other when the checkbox is not checked. So when the checkbox is checked the color attribute that is used is color control activated. Or in other words when the checkbox is activated or checked its color is controlled by the property color control activated and when the checkbox is not checked its color is controlled by color control normal. 
same with the states of the radio button when it is on and when it is off when the radio button is selected its color is changed by color control activated and when it is not selected the color is controlled by color control normal now guys what if we don't define all this property for the widget now guys when the color control activated the color control normal color control highlight attributes are not defined for our widgets what happens when this attributes are not defined the default color that is being provided to our widget is the color ascent or in other words the color ascent will be the color that will be provided to all our widgets the button the radio button and the checkbox and various other widgets that are being defined in our application whether the checkbox is on or off as well as the ripple effect all will be having the color of color ascent so guys this color attributes are one of the most important features that are to be used in our application we can use this color to beautify our application and to make it more attractive if the user finds our application boring there is no doubt that he is going to uninstall it using this color palette we can make our application ui more attractive as well as interesting to be used that's all for this video guys Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit like, share and do comment below the video. Take care and have a good day.